Okay, here's the problem. I want to find the equation of the tangent line and the normal line to this function at the point x is equal to a negative 1 using the limit definition. First of all, let's get a picture of what it looks like. If you were to graph this function, it would look like this little curve right here. Now, when x is equal to a negative 1, that gives me a point down approximately right here. There's point x equals negative 1. Now, first of all, I'm going to draw a tangent line. So just to give you an idea, the tangent line would look something like this right here. It goes through. So what I've got is a formula that looks like this. y is equal to mx plus b. So here's the things I need to know. I need to know the point that it goes through, x and y. <clears throat> um, I need to know the slope, and I need to know the y-intercept. So first of all, let's find the point itself. We need x and y. So the first step in the process will be, when x is equal to a negative 1, what is y? So we'll go step 1. Find y when x is equal to a negative 1. Now this is pretty easy to do. All you got to do is plug a negative 1 into the original function. So f of negative 1 would be equal to 2 and stick in a negative 1 plus 3 times a negative 1 minus 4. Well, that's going to give you 2 minus 3 minus 4, which is going to give you a negative 5, and that's what y is equal to. So what this does, this gives you the point negative 1, negative 5, and that is the point. So now you've got the point. Now where this point is, it is this point right there. So now you know what the point is. <coughs> so now you're ready for the second point. So right now you know that y is a negative 5 and you know that x is a negative 1. Trouble is you still don't know the slope and you still don't know the y-intercept. So we'll go on to step 2 which is to find the slope but we'll do it using the limit definition. So step 2. Uh, find the slope M. But remember, the slope is equal to the derivative. So we'll find the derivative, which will give us a slope. So this is going to be step two. So first of all, using the limit definition, the slope would be equal to the value of the derivative. And I'm going to use this definition up here. So it's going to be the limit as h approaches 0. And now what you do is this. In the original function up here, everywhere you've got an x here and here, replace it with an x plus h. So what that's going to look at down here would be this. 2, and in place of x, put x plus h squared, plus 3 times x plus h minus 4. So that takes care of this part right here. Then you've got minus, now this is the original function. So minus the original function, which is 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. <clears throat> now the whole thing is divided by h. It's 2 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Uh, now really it's just a matter of solving this, so you've got a little algebra to do. So I want to find the limit as h approaches to 0. The first thing I've got to do is to go to this little part right in here, and I've got to FOIL this thing. So when I FOIL this thing, I get this. 2 times, this becomes x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. So that's just that little thing FOILed. I think I'll still keep this in brackets. The next thing is to distribute this 3. This times this, and this times this. So that's going to give me plus 3x plus 3h minus 4. So that takes care of that part. <clears throat> now the next thing to do is this. Easy mistake to make, by the way. Distribute this negative. So that will give you negative 2x squared minus 3x. Two negatives make a positive, get a plus 4 over here. Then this entire thing 
divided by h. Next step, you've got to distribute this to this times this, this times this, and this times this. So that's going to give you the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x squared plus 4hx plus 2h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 4. Then you've got the minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. The entire thing divided by h. Now remember, you're going through this entire process to try to get this h out of the denominator. As you let h go to 0, if you don't get rid of the h, you're going to have division by 0. So somehow you've got to get rid of this h, and that's why we're doing all of this. Now the next thing you can do is this, is anything that can cancel out will cancel out. Here is a plus 4, it'll cancel out this minus 4. Here is a minus 3x, it'll cancel out this plus 3x. Here is a minus 2, it'll cancel out this plus 2x. And what's left over is this, the limit as h approaches 0 of 4hx plus 2h squared plus 3h, all divided by h. Now again, I'm still trying to get this h out of the denominator, so I'll do the following. Uh, each term in the numerator has got an h in it, so I can factor an h out of that. So the limit as h approaches 0 of, and I'll bring an h out of each term in the numerator, so which leaves me with a 4x plus 2h plus 3. The entire thing divided by h. Okay, now that's the whole purpose of this process, is to eliminate this h in the bottom. Well, now you've got an h in the top, you've got an h in the bottom, you can cancel those out. So that's going to give you, um, we'll go ahead and put it right here, that's going to give you the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus 2h plus 3. Now when you take that limit, any term that's got an h in it is going to go to 0. So this term right here will go to 0, which leaves you with the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus 3. And that will just turn into 4x plus 3, because there's no h in there. Uh, and what this is, this is the derivative function. So f prime of x. So now I've got a function that will give me the slope of the tangent line. Now if you want to find the slope, the slope at x is equal to a negative 1, just plug a negative 1 into the derivative function. So f prime at a negative 1 is equal to 4 times a negative 1 plus 3, uh, which gives you f prime at negative 1 is equal to a negative 1, and that is the slope. So you finally got the slope. So now that you've got the slope, you can bring it back up here. Take it all the way back up here and plug it into the slope right here. So I now know this. Uh, y is equal to mx plus b. I know that y is a negative 5. I know the slope is a negative 1. I know the x by is negative 1, and this is b. So now what I want to do is find b. If I find b, I'm done. So this gives me negative 5 plus or is equal to a positive 1 plus b, which gives me negative 6 is equal to b. 
Well now, for the equation of the tangent line, I know the slope, know the y-intercept, so it gives me this. y is equal to, the slope is a negative 1, x minus 6, and this is the equation of the tangent line. So there is the equation of the tangent line. So that's the first part of the problem. Okay, i got one more step I need to do, and we'll just kind of do it right here in this corner. That takes care of the equation of the tangent line. Now, I want to find the equation of the normal line. So the equation of the normal line. Now, first of all, let's see what the normal line is. We'll go back up to our picture up here. The normal line is the line that goes through exactly the same point that's perpendicular to the tangent line. So this line right here is the normal line. Now what's the equation of that? Well, first of all, they both go through the same point, so I can still use the point minus 1, minus 5. But remember, for perpendicular lines, uh, the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So I'll still start with y is equal to mx plus b. And here are the things that I know. Uh, I want to find the new slope. Well, if the tangent line slope is a negative one, take the reciprocal and change the sign, and the slope of the normal line would have to be a plus one. So that slope is going to be one. Now it goes through the same point, so y is a negative five. The slope of the normal line is one. It goes through the point negative one, and I've got plus b. So I've got to find b. That gives me negative five is equal to negative one uh, plus b. which gives me negative 4 is equal to b. And with that, I now have the equation of the normal line. So for the normal line, y, the slope is a positive 1, and the y-intercept is a negative 4, and you are done. There is the equation of the normal line. So those are the steps, and we'll kind of run through them in order here. Uh, starting with this, step number one is find the point that it goes through. So that gives you x and y. That takes care of those two. You need the slope, and you've got to go through this entire long process right here to find the slope, which was a negative one. That takes care of that. So now you've got the slope of the tangent line. So plug in the slope, plug in the intercepts, solve for b, you've got the equation of the tangent line there. Once you've got the equation of the tangent line, the normal line is pretty easy. Just uh, find the perpendicular slope, so a negative reciprocal. So if the slope of the tangent line is negative 1, the slope of the perpendicular would have to be a positive 1. You can plug in the same point because if you look up at the picture, they both go through the same point right here. And then all you've got to do is solve for b, solve for b. You've got the equation of the normal line, and you are done. And that's it.